Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SEV News Break for Thursday, September 19th. A hiker stranded in Placerita Canyon since Sunday is now recovering at Henry Mayo Hospital. Nearby hikers in the area called 911 after hearing a faint call for help Thursday morning just after 9 o'clock. A Los Angeles County Fire search and rescue team airlifted the hiker from a ravine 40 feet below a trail in Walker Ranch around 10 a.m. The hiker is reported to be in his mid-20s. Fire officials say the hiker was scratched up, dehydrated, but conscious when help arrived. So what might early man use for currency? Teachers and parents took hundreds of elementary school students on a trip back in time on Thursday. Sixth graders at Pico Canyon Elementary learned about life thousands of years in the past. It's Cro-Magnon Day and we're dressed up as cavemen and hominids because we've been learning about that in social studies. And we're switching classrooms and we're drawing cave paintings of things they hunted and what they did. We're putting together pieces of puzzle like archaeologists do if they find something and if they don't have the whole thing they have to recreate it. Students took turns acting as archaeologists on a mission to find evidence of life. And we're just digging and we're looking for bones and different kinds of rocks and tools that the early people use, like Homo habilis and Homo erectus. Coming up after the break, art and science collide at the COC Art Gallery. Details after this. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling. My relationships were affected by my addiction in ways that are almost hard to describe. I lost, I lost that trust and that, that sense of intimacy that you have with your family. Everyone says that, oh, it's just a plant, like you can't get addicted to it, but like really, it is addictive. If you're doing it all day, like every day, it's just like that's all your life consists of is smoking weed, like then it's addictive. You think your son is, you'll never know, because it, it is hard to hide, but if you try hard enough, you can conceal it. There's no face to addiction, like your next door neighbor could be an addict and you have no idea people we deal with are great people. They're just making bad choices. So if we can help people make better choices, everybody wins. And I love you very, very much. In recognition of their anti-gang efforts in Canyon Country, the City of Santa Clarita received a 2013 Helen Putnam Award from the League of California Cities on Wednesday. It's the eighth year the city has received the award. This year, Santa Clarita was honored in the Enhancing Public Trust, Ethics, and Community Involvement category. Winners were honored during the opening session of the league's annual conference and expo on Wednesday. Now for your weather, 93 degrees for the high in Santa Clarita Thursday. Overnight lows are expected around 60 tonight. Warm, sunny weather is expected Friday and over the weekend with highs sticking in the, in the 80s through Sunday in the SEV. Light winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour are expected in the area over the next few days. We've got a lot going on in our local sports scene. Dave Caldwell is in the newsroom to tell us all about it. Dave? Thanks, Ryan. If you love college soccer, then make your plans to be at Reese Field on the campus of the Masters College Saturday at 1.30 in the afternoon as the number 16 Lady Mustangs host number 15 Cal State San Marcos. The Masters is 7-0 while the Cougars are 4-0-1 with their one tie, a 0-0 double overtime thriller against number 24, Rocky Mountain College. The Lady Mustangs are led by senior Jordan Benson, who ranks sixth in the nation with 24 points tallied in those seven games. Friday night here on SCV TV, it's high school football, and we got a great game for you as the number one ranked team in the Northern Division, the Hart Indians, host the number one ranked team in the CIF Central Section Division Three the Ridgeview of Bakersfield Wolfpack. The Indians have averaged over 55 points per game and over 700 yards of total offense in their first two games of the season. The Wolfpack counters that with a powerful running game led by 210-pound junior Jacob Lopez, who averages over 12 and a half yards a carry and has scored six touchdowns. Same-day coverage of the Galpin of Santa Clarita Game of the Week begins at 11 o'clock Friday night exclusively on SCV TV and scvtv.com. Ryan, that's our look at sports. Thanks, Dave. Science and art come together in the art gallery at College of the Canyons. Life as Art, Images from an Unseen World is a collection of images captured from under a microscope by COC biology professors Kelly Burke and Kelly Coode. 
I've never really been very artistic or thought of myself as very artistic, but I've always loved what I saw in the microscope. The exhibit is free and open through the end of the month in room 108 of Mentory Hall on COC's Valencia campus. An art reception will take place Saturday from noon to 4. That's all we have for you tonight. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Ryan Haslam. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling.